we've run into. Good, bad, or indifferent, according to Chicago Tribune and several other news sources, this will be the first generation of African Americans that will not achieve more than their parents did. Now, it has happened every generation we've been on these shores until now. Part of that blame is that the young people, you know what you're dealing with. Many of you drive by and, and look and just shake your heads, especially when they got their bloomers out above their pants and all that, you know, that, it can turn you off. You don't want to be bothered. I understand that. But part of that also has been that many of us got ours there, Brownlee, and then said, you know what, I, I'm tired. and don't feel like dealing with any more not here. I'm, I'm done with this. We can't do that. We simply can't put ourselves in that position. I don't know how many of you have had neighbors lose homes in the last few months, but um, my, my block at one point was like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. Folks were losing homes all over. Some of them just gave up, just walked away, not knowing that they actually could have still sold the home, that they actually could have still received money for it, that there were any number of things they could have done. And as one lady told me, look, I actually owe more than it's worth, and it's just not worth it. And she packed her stuff and she left. And I felt so bad about it, but I understood. I understood her choice. I understood what she did. However, we cannot allow this to continue. It is an all-out war, if you will, on us. Pop would tell you that some of this is Satan caused, some of this is people caused, but nonetheless, we must begin to get a handle on it and deal with it. So we have some upcoming events, and I'll tell you about those shortly. There are two things I want to make notice of first, and then I want to move right into a couple of other matters. I'll probably go over five minutes, but only because I've got a number of things to do. Um, if the NAACP, SNCC, Operation Push, the Black Panther Party, all those organizations have a love child, I think the AABCDI, which is what this organization is, would be it. What we're going to do is, it is true, this is our not-for-profit arm, our 501c3, as you were, tax-deductible arm. But there will be a second arm, a for-profit business, which will be forming over the next two years. It will deal with emerging technologies. So now you begin to understand where we're going. Now why deal with emerging technologies? Because emerging technologies are going to rule the world. What do I mean by that? Si is already working with some gentlemen uh, concerning solar-powered automobiles. So in other words, these are cars that run strictly on the sun. There's another group doing electric automobiles, and Si is also in talking with them now. Why are we talking with them? Because we intend at some point to open a dealership. And as I told them, a dealership would be nice a production factory would be my dream. And God has a way of making dreams come true. Yeah. Why are we doing that? That's not the only technology we're dealing with. <laughs>